Good afternoon, ladies. How's everybody doing on this happy Wednesday? Hey, you know what? Today I've decided, well, nothing different than any other day, but I'm going to be real and I'm going to be raw and I'm going to shoot from the hip and do what I do naturally. Uh, anybody that knows me knows that um, I don't sugarcoat shit. It's just not what I can do. It's not, I'm not, it's not in me. But anyway, just got back from my five mile run and I, I noticed lately, the past months actually, that uh, there seems to be this... Uh, self um, self love thing that's going on that uh, everybody's preaching about loving yourself and you should accept yourself and love yourself love yourself everybody just love themselves and accept everything about yourself and be happy and blah 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 and, and guess what don't get me wrong I'm all for loving yourself I love myself I've accepted myself um, and and the things about my body that uh, you know it is what it is but I think there's a big there's a fine line between loving yourself and really loving yourself and I believe that uh, if somebody really loves themselves and is accepting of themselves um, you'll love your health you'll take you'll you'll take your health seriously because the best way that you can love yourself is 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 getting healthy so when I you know when I hear and I see all these posts about you know oh, my body and you know this and that well you know if it's something that's that you can change change it change it I mean, I've said it once, I've said it a million times, and I'll say it again, and I'm sorry if I offend anybody with saying this, but I do, I do not believe there is a such thing as happy fat. I don't believe people are happy being fat. I don't believe that. I don't believe people are happy when they're being out of breath, or they can't fit in a seat, or they can't uh, do things with their children. I don't believe a person is happy from that, that condition, okay? I believe in totally loving yourself and accepting your body and looking in the mirror and, 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 and liking the reflection that's back at you. But I also am a realist and, and believe that, you know what, if you really love yourself and you're really accepting of yourself, take care of yourself, okay? I'm 48 years old. Uh, believe me, I got boobs are dropping, I got cellulite, I got saddlebags, I got, we all know, you know, do I like it? No! <laughs> Have I accepted it? Yes. Is there things about my body that is within my um, reach of changing? Absolutely. I mean, wait, hey, here we go, ladies. I'm going to show you this right on. Here's me. Okay. Stretch marks. Saggy belly. Do I love this? No, I don't love it. I had two 10 pound babies at the age of, you know, 19 and 20 years old. But this is my body. But am I working on it? Am I seeing progression? Yes, I am. So. All I'm saying to you ladies right now today is, like I said, uh, I'm all for loving yourself. Everybody should love themselves. But I think you should, the best way you can really love yourself is to get healthy. That's all. I mean, again, everything's within reach. Uh, you're in complete control of what you put in your mouth. All right. And uh, when I see women making posts about, you know, I've had heart attacks and I've had strokes and I have diabetes, and then I'm looking at pictures of you and you're obviously, you know, uh, morbidly obese well uh, what can I say you know I uh, I come from a medical standpoint I actually worked uh, almost four years in a bariatric center did hands-on did surgery on morbidly obese people read their charts and realized that um, none of them people coming in the door were happy in that condition again you can love yourself and you can love the body you're in and love the, you know, the image looking back at you but I truly do not believe people feel good about themselves um, when they're at that weight. I don't. And I'm sorry if I, you know, again, if I offended anybody with that. But um, like I, I, I keep just pushing health. Self-health matters, ladies. Self-health matters. If it's within your reach, which your diet is within your reach, and your exercise is, uh, you know, that could give or take. Um, still controllable and again I'm sorry if I offended anybody but I'm a realist and I don't sugarcoat shit it's just not what I've done and um, again I love myself trust me I love myself but is there things about my body I do not like no I don't like and if it's something that I can change you'd be damned I'm gonna keep working on it so again ladies have a wonderful afternoon and remember love yourself but the best way to love yourself is to love your health okay peace out